Hey everyone, it's Kim, the Homeschooling Grammy, and today I thought I would do a flip through of Math Lessons for a Living Education Level 4. I'm going to show you why I love this. been using math lessons for a living education since level two um, and it has been a wonderful fit for us um, we had do, been doing some struggling in math um, it was starting to become one of those areas where there was always lots of tears and frustration and this curriculum changed that for us am I saying that it'll change that for everybody no but for us it was the change that really worked so I just thought it would be nice to go ahead and do a flip through of level four to show you what all is in it and what it's all about so I'm going to go ahead and open it up here so it gives you a full scope and sequence which is perfect for those of you that are New York State homeschoolers. All you have to do is make a copy of this page. It is perfect. And then it gives you your course objectives. Um, teaching mathematics is a living subject. Gives you a supply list over here which I'll be honest, um, I use this my way. I've never even paid any attention to the supply list. <laughs> I do everything my way. Um, how to use everyday items as manipulatives. And then it even gives you a schedule. Um, and once again, I don't follow the schedule. We just move at our pace and what works for us. Um, sometimes we do you know, more than one part of the lesson the day. Sometimes we do less. It just depends on how it's going. But as you can see, um, yeah. So the only thing I have done is I've kind of put in there, okay, I ended, you know, the first quarter. <laughs> so it gives you all of this area. So, you know, if you're that kind of person that really likes the schedule to tell you what to do next, then this is perfect. So then it starts out with a review of um, all addition and subtraction concepts. And I like that it does that, that this curriculum goes back and it reviews the previous year, which is wonderful. And so as you can see, we've been using this, obviously. And so let me like skip ahead here to where there is not so much writing going on so you won't be dis distracted so much. Yes, we're quite a ways into this. As you can see. Nope. Even further. Okay, here we go. So I'll go ahead and I'll start with lesson 20. Um, where we're at larger number multiplication with carrying. So we just started this um, yesterday, I do believe. So everything comes with a story in the beginning. You know what? I'm not even going to skip further. To show you an idea. Here we go. So writing decimals and fractions. This is lesson 22. So it starts out with a story, which makes it a whole lot of fun. It's really fun. You get to um, listen to the story and it's about these two children. Um, and it just kind of follows their life and what is going on. And, you know, they travel different places. They do different things. They go on field trips, but they always bring math into it. So it makes it really fun putting math into real life and so it'll go on after that and you'll have your first exercise exercise one and it'll even tell you what day it is like day 106 which like I said I don't follow that I just do things at our own pace um, and they'll do a, on this particular lesson they're doing a multiplication facts review and then they'll go into your new concept and then again, this is day 106. So, you know, technically you can do two, you can do both of these pages in one day. Sometimes I do, sometimes we don't. It just depends on how the day is going. 
Um, and then they have review questions and all of this is like review type stuff. So it's kind of pulling in from stuff from before so that it's a spiral approach and it works really well for my grandchild. More review here at the top and then it gets into practicing the new material. More new material here and then more review. So back to adding like money. In here you will see more math facts review, more practice of the new information, going back to counting money, covering some word problems. And I love how it's always pulling from before and pu putting new in all the time. Um, here again is some of the new practice, divide and check, more review over here. And then again, more review information, and it goes on to the next lesson with uh, money work with decimals and fractions. And it kind of goes on like that continually throughout the whole thing. You'll have some review, you'll have some new concepts, you have more review mixed in, and this just works so well. Um, she likes that it's colorful. Um, it's just not plain black and white. And I know for some kids that might be distracting. She likes the story process, uh, you know, the process of reading a story. And yes, it is from a biblical viewpoint. Um, they do share scripture at times, not always, but there is scripture talked about and the Bible is talked about. So if that is something that you're a secular homeschooler that you um, don't want, then maybe this isn't the curriculum for you. But then again, you could always use it and not, you know, put that that information in with your day's learning. You can use this any way that you like. So I went ahead and I skipped to the back of the book. And you'll see there's a whole manipulative section of the book with all of the manipulatives. There's like the place value village, the fraction kit an add-on fraction kit. As you can see, we don't use any of this. <laughs> I'm so bad, but we don't use any of it. Um, you can see like there's all kinds of good stuff in here. Break it down cards on how to do your division problems. And there's, a, there's also a fraction decimal chart. And then the English measurement chart. And a metric measuring chart over here. And then there's the appendix. And the solutions manual, which I've taken the majority of this out. I left some of the beginning in, but all the rest of the back end is all gone. But yeah, so you have all the solutions back here in the back of the book. And I don't know, I think I might have skipped this page at the beginning when I was flipping through, but how to use this course and the features. It takes approximately 30 minutes per lesson, five days a week for 36 weeks. Um, there's a solution manual for the Rick Shrieks is available at the back. There's a review time sections that can be used as quizzes. Worksheets are included for each section and it's designed for grade four in a one year course. There you have it. There is a quick flip through of math lessons for a living education grade four. I hope that this video was a blessing to you. And if you have any questions about this curriculum, feel free to ask me in the comments and I will do my best to answer any questions that you might have. So God bless and take care and I'll talk to you in the next video.